When Phil Collins was 19, he was doing some session drumming and got a call asking if he'd like to play on George Harrison's new album, All Things Must Pass. Collins says, of course, as George was one of his heroes, and he goes down to the studio and records a take with George Harrison and Phil Spector producing. A few weeks later, the album comes out and there's no sign of the congas. Flash forward 20 years, Phil and George run into each other at an event, and Phil asks George, why were the congas cut? George says he doesn't really remember that day or that session, but he offers to send Phil the master tapes for the session to see if the congas were on there. Sure enough, he sends the tapes and there are the congas, but they're absolutely horrible. The worst congas you could imagine. At the end of the song, you could even hear George turning to Phil Spector and saying, get that lad playing the congas out of here. So anyway, Phil Collins calls George and says, thank you for sending the tapes. Did you listen to them before you sent them? George says, no, I didn't really have the time to do that. Why? He says, the tapes were horrible. The congas were horrible. I understand why you cut them. And George admits that he hired a band to come in and re-record the song with the worst congas imaginable just to mess with Phil. 